Well, here I am, Deacon Nina, with Robin Murphy Erickson、um, for our next installment of Prayer Lab Minute on the Road. And Robin, will you just tell us、um, a little bit about your story? Absolutely.、Mm -hmm. So,、um, my name is Robin, and I'm an addict. I consider myself an addict,、um, and today I am a grateful, recovering、um, addict. And this is Hazel and Betty Ford in Center City. I was a patient there、um, in 2013, and that's basically where my life and my story really, really changed,、um, and for the best. When I walked out of Hazel and Betty Ford, and I call I call those doors the miracle doors、mm. um, because people walk in at the lowest point of their life, and then they walk out, and they're. A totally different person. I、mm. I call a lot of the patients flowers because they have blossomed、um, throughout their stay, and that's what I did. So, Robin, would you share about a practice of prayer that you have found meaningful in your life? Absolutely.、Um, my practice of prayer is prayer before I go to bed, of course, and then、uh, prayer when I wake up. So, my first.、Uh, Prayer practice that I do in the beginning of the day is that I thank the Lord that I am、uh, alive and also that I am in recovery or that I'm sober today,、um, and then I do、um, a step one prayer. I wonder if you could tell me a little bit more about what it means to do a step one prayer for people who aren't familiar with that kind of language. Absolutely. Or,、yeah. So I learned this in treatment when I was at Hazelden, and basically it is what you do is you get out of bed, and the, well, this is what I do. I would get out of bed and I would thank God that I was alive、um, because God、uh, did give me a second chance.、Um, I almost died in 2013, and so I got that check at second chance, and so I thank the Lord that I am alive today. And then、um, when I make my bed,、um, you know, pull my sheets up, get them nice and ready for the night.、Um, I thank the Lord that I am sober today,、mm -hmm. and He has,、um, you know, given me that that opportunity to share my story with others. For those that are、uh, don't have any clue、uh, what addiction is, or what alcoholism is, or what treatment is, and then. Also to share to those that are still suffering today. So when I make my bed, I just say, "Good morning, God.、Um, thank you for another day to live, and thank you for、um, allowing me to be sober today." And then、um, I will say、um, the Serenity Prayer.、Okay. Would you like me to say that? Sure. Okay.、Yeah. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And that's the start of my day. That's beautiful. And I just have to、thank、say, you. you know, whether you're in recovery or not, to just thank God for another day. Yeah. And yeah. ask for that courage and、yeah. serenity is a beautiful thing. Absolutely. I mean, I think we could all. <laughs> yes. We could all benefit from that as just starting out on the right,、oh. the right foot. Absolutely. It is. It gets my day started. It puts me in a good mood, and I'm ready for the day. You know, God's always been there by my side, and you know, back maybe. Ten years ago, I didn't realize that he was walking with me until I hit the the lowest point of my life,、mm. and then I realized,、uh, you know, that he's been there the whole time. Well, thank you so much, Robin,、You're、for、welcome. sharing your story and、um, encouraging all of us in our in our prayer lives.、Um, I may be coming to your holy space next.